Hey guys! Just checking in with everybody. It's been a couple of days since my last upload, probably because I am planning on uploading at least once a week because I do have my blog schedule to maintain so that I don't forget everything. Anyways, so today I am coming to you with a haul, my December haul. It's going to be very short because I am no funds. Um, <laughs> so I was out Christmas shopping with my sister about a week ago and decided to, while I was picking up gifts for my friends, I picked up a couple of books for myself. I know that's kind of selfish. Who goes out Christmas shopping and then buys books for themselves? Anyways, I was, um, I picked up just a couple of books. Um, and I also went to the library and grabbed some books for myself there. So I have a library haul as well. And this will be probably the only December haul you get from me. I do have an early December haul full of books that I got on the internet on Amazon for my ebooks. Um, you can find that at my blog. I'm not going to list all of that here because there's just a lot of books that I don't even remember the names of. And at the moment, I can't even find my Kindle, so right now I'm just going to show you the um, actual physical books that I got my hands on for this month. So the first book that I picked up while I was out was Grimm's Fairy Tales. It's the um, complete fairy tales. It was the bargain. It was in the bargain section at the Barnes and Nobles. I went and picked it up, and I've seen a lot of them floating around. They've been they've been really pretty, but this one I think is really pretty all on its own. It was, um, I'd say it was about nine dollars. I don't really remember, but it's got all of them in there, and the text is kind of small but big enough for me to be happy with. It's got all of my little favorites in there. Um, so, I don't know if this is one of the better versions, I assume because it's a bargain version that it's not, but I am very happy with this. Um, a small thing about me is that I love fairy tales, and as I get older I'm starting to love the more original versions with all the violence and terribleness because that's what happens when we become adults, right? Anyway, so I picked this one up. I don't plan on like just reading it like I read all of my other books. You know, just a story here and there before bedtime. That's enough for me. Uh, I do plan on reading this to my children one day. I know. I don't know. We'll see. Um, the other book that I picked up along those lines is The Best Loved Fairy Tales by Hans Christian Andersen. Now, as I said, I love fairy tales, so I'm really excited for this one because it's got like the Emperor's New Clothes and the Little Mermaid, and yeah, I'm excited to read them in the way that they were written. Um, yeah, so those are the two books that I got for myself while I was out. I don't anticipate buying any more books this month. Oh my gosh, that means I probably won't be buying any more this year. Ah! Okay, so yeah, those are the books that I managed to get my hands on and uh, just buy, so those are mine. Uh, next is my list of library books that I picked up. I grabbed Insurgent at the library. I'm almost halfway through at the moment. This is the second the second installment in the Divergent series as I was talking about in my intro video. I'm liking it. It's not on my TBR list so it's kind of making me behind. But um, yeah, I'm really excited to have this and I have to read this now because I was on a line of 20 people so I have to read this because I know it's already being held. So if I don't finish this I'll be in big trouble. Um, yeah. So I got Insurgent. Um, for nonfiction books, I grabbed some writing books, of course. Um, this book is called Now Write. It's edited by Sherry Ellis and it has exercises from authors like Steve Allman, Robert Olin Butler, Amy Bloom. Lots of different writers, lots of different exercises. I thought that would be kind of fun to, you know, pick through, grab an exercise, and just start writing. I like little books like this. Um, every now and then it's good to, to 
do something like this thing, it helps you get through like a funk or a writer's block or something like that. So I thought I'd pick this one up and see what it had to offer me. I haven't actually looked at it yet, but I probably will in a little while. I'm still working on the 90 days to your novel, so that has a lot of writing exercises in it too. So I'm working on that one right now. I'll probably come to this a little bit later. And the last book is Elements of Style by um, Strunk, White, and Coleman. This one was mentioned in the 90 Days um, to Your Novel. It, you know, it's one of those books that kind of goes over the basics of, you know, like your grammar and, you know, word choice, things like that. It, yeah. It's one of those books that, you know, is just kind of like a guide. I anticipate reading this really quickly, probably very soon, just to refresh my brain and get my writing in a good place. Um, I do anticipate though one day buying this book and getting it bound. Hang on a sec, I want to show you. See, what I do is when I really, really like a book and want to return to it time after time, I, I'll go over to the staples and I will get the book bound like this, spiral bound, so that I can just do like that and I tab all of the pages so I can reference it a million times. This is my book. This is writing science fiction and fantasy. But um, yeah, so I anticipate um, doing that to this one. I haven't read it, but I know that it's really good. A lot of people, I've seen this book referenced in so many books, so I probably will go ahead and buy it at some point and get it spiral bound and keep it in my writer's drawer. But yeah, so those are the books that I picked up for December. Uh, if you're interested in the ebooks that I that I picked up, um, head on over to my blog and it will be there. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching my haul and we'll see you next time.